and we're recording. So, hello everybody and welcome to a new Sumo community meeting. Today is Monday the 12th of October, winter is coming in my part of the world, uh, summer is coming in other parts of the world, so happy you. Um, we have quite a few things to talk about today, so let's get started. I have uh, pasted our um, either pad. Uh, yes. Hey, everybody else who is not talking, could you please mute? It's really loud. Oh yeah, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so um, I have pasted the agenda on Pound Sumo, so check it out and let's get going. All right. Oh, and yes, please add your name and profile under the participants uh, entry line 31, just so everybody knows who has joined us today. Uh, there are no action items for from last week, so I'll move directly to roundtable. Um, just so everybody knows, Mozilla has moved to Etherpad Lite. So there's a different type of Etherpad, it's still Etherpad, but a bit different. There were some security issues with the old one, so we had to make the move. I posted a thread in the community forums as well. Um, so from now on, we will be using this, uh, public.etherpad-mozilla.org. Um, uh, it's default to public, so there won't be a possibility to create anything like passwords or uh, team pads or anything like that, which is good, so just use it. And we'll try this week to move all the stuff that we have on the old etherpads to the new ones. So if you have anything that you see that you cannot access, please let me know so we can retrieve that data because we have a lot of stuff on a lot of etherpads, so <laughs> I might not be able to transfer everything. But if there is something important, just let me know. Um, and that's it. Any questions about either pad light? You'll need some time to get used to it, but it's actually more or less the same. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we have uh, we have few sumo pad in our local team for the Bangladesh team in the Bangladesh team pad, uh, and those are password protected. So um, I have tried to recover them from the light, the either pad light, but I cannot access those pad. So can any one of you help me to retrieve this pad? Uh, I talked with George Rotter about that. Uh, his mail, he told that if anyone have the VPN access of the Mozilla server, uh, they can help us to retrieve this pad. Yeah, uh, only Sorry, go ahead, Kadir. Ah, that's all. Uh, so if oh. any one of you have VPN access, uh, they can help me or us to retrieve those sumo pads in the Bangladesh team. Uh, yes, Atwin, if you have the password. Uh, if you have the uh, either pad, the URL for the either pad, and if you have the password, and if you send it to me, I will get, I will, I can get that for you. Oh, okay, uh, I will send you the link and the password. All right. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. All right, so, Again, if anybody else needs help, uh, they need to retrieve some data from any type of either pad, just let us know. We should be able to, to get it back. Okay, uh, moving on to contributors of the week. Um, I just wanted to, I don't have a specific nomination for today from my side, but I wanted to give kudos to everybody uh, who has been helping out in the forums, because um, I know this can be sometimes quite frustrating uh, with all the angry users, but we do have happy users. Uh, and I pasted in our agenda um, a quote from one of the users who says, this is one thing that I sure like with Firefox over Chrome, which is I had to switch uh, due to Chrome uh, maxing my CPU in a minute or two and could not get help from anyone. The forums community there is just a place for everybody to say bad things. Uh, you get near zero help, yet I have found solutions or got personal help here every time I had problems. So Firefox works from great for me, thanks. So here's one happy users, user who got help each time he uh, arrived on our forums. And that's thanks uh, to everybody who's participating there. So thank you so much guys for all the work. 
Uh, and I know uh, this user is not particularly uh, watching us right now, but uh, I'm happy to see that somebody is uh, acknowledging the efforts that everybody has been putting in. So that's great. And if you're on the forums and you see more happy users like this, uh, it would be nice to uh, take that out and paste it in the community forums just for everybody to see. It's a nice acknowledgement. So uh, thanks, everybody, once again. And kudos, great efforts. And somebody's typing, and I think that's Centurion. Uh, you want to? I want to know Safwan, Siam, and Ayat for traveling with me for the Support Mozilla tour. It is the first tour in this series. Uh, they they worked so hard for the for the for the two event that they couldn't sleep for tonight to attend the attend the event in the early morning. So I want to nominate them the as a contributor of the week. Awesome. So congratulations, Safwam, Sam, and Rayad uh, for all your great efforts and not sleeping. Do get some sleep, please. <laughs> All right, and there's another nomination. I don't know who did it. Uh, if you can please write your name there or just speak up if you're on the call. Um, if you don't, I'll read it for you. Uh, so a nomination for Ashikur for arranging the Sumo Bangladesh Tour 2015. So congrats, Centurion, for all the effort. Well done. All right, great stuff. I'm happy to see so many nominations today. Um, I'll move on to some other update. Can you please mute if you don't speak because I can hear a lot of noise. All right, thank you. All right, so let's move to some other update, Kadir. All right. Um, so. Uh, you have the dev backlog there, uh, so you can actually look at exactly the same things that I'm looking at when I'm trying to figure out what are we going to work on next. Um, that's Edwin. And on the champions backlog, uh, you can see the things that we are going to select soon uh, to be added to that, that backlog. Um, right now, we have uh, one roadmap item that's going to happen this week. It's the finishing of the uh, you know, ask a question flow. I think we have only one more bug left. And that's going to be uh, it. Uh, then we're going to take items from the Champions Backlog, and uh, next week we should be able to start working on the mobile articles, uh, mobile article page. Awesome. Thank you, Kadir. Any questions for Kadir? Take one, take two. All right. No questions. I'll move on to Firefox Desktop, Mark. Uh, so no major problems this week with Firefox desktop support. The crash rate is actually really low. Um, even for the beta and um, dev editions right now, it's all under, all of them are under 1%, which is really awesome. Um, the one thing to note is that when Windows 64-bit um, Firefox is coming in Firefox 42, but it will not be on the download page. It won't even be on the, originally it was planned to be on the download page that has um, all the different locales, uh, but not on the main download page. But um, right now, the plan is to not have it on either of those pages, to only have it available on the FTP site. So when it does come out, I would encourage you to test it. In fact, I'd encourage you to go get the beta version right now and start testing it. Um, it should work with, uh, um, it doesn't work with Silverlight or Java, but uh, if you have Netflix and you can test that, Netflix should work because it's using a new, um, plug-in from Adobe that plays Netflix videos. Um, and that plugin is actually the reason that we're not um, releasing it, or we're not announcing the release and putting it on the download page in 42 because we're waiting for Adobe to completely finish that plugin. But if you can test it out and um, there is a bug in, um, there are bug numbers in the Etherpad for um, issues related to Win64. I'm actually going to add a few more here as well. And if you want uh, to talk about it, there is a 42-bit beta discussion in the support um, contributor forums. And it's already a conversation in there about it. So um, post there if you find anything or if you have any questions. That's it. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. Any questions for Mark? Uh, 
uh, one right. question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, yeah, the, uh, will there be any difference between the 32 bit and the 64 bit? Do we need separate documentation for this? Uh, for the most part, we don't need separate documentation. However, we will need to note that um, that Silverlight and Java won't work in 64-bit on the pages where we talk about um, problems with those plugins. Uh, that's about it right now for differences. And th the reason they aren't supported, just to be clear, is um, is that there are, uh, you need 64-bit plugins for 64-bit Firefox, and there just are not 64-bit Java plugin or 64-bit uh, Silverlight plugin for Firefox right now. It's up to um, the uh, companies who make those, Microsoft and I think it's Sun, to uh, uh, to make plugins for Firefox, and they may not actually. We don't know what the status of that is right now. So, um, but yeah, the only difference really should be those plugins and. Everything else should work the same as far as add-ons, flash, um, things like that. Okay. So no need for, for different documentation. All right, thank you. Um, any more questions? If not, I'll move to Firefox OS, Joni. Yeah, hi everyone. So um, the next major update for Firefox OS is a 2.5 and it's coming out in November, in early November. Um, now to clarify, it's not going to be for consumers, it's going to be for you, the community, and for developers. So we don't need to do um, a lot in terms of documentation before the release. In fact, we're going to point users to MDN um, for November. But once it comes out in November, um, that's when we'll start our round of, document of updates for the next consumer release, which will be probably sometime in 2016. But uh, I thought we'd start early so we're not rushing at the last minute. Um, we, you might have seen some placeholders. Um, for example, tracking protection is going to be a major feature in 2.5, so that's an exception to our like no documentation rule, or not rule, but yeah, practice. Um, yeah, so that's it. I keep an eye out for that. Um, any questions? Any questions about Firefox OS? All right, no questions then. Thank you, Joni. And I'll move on to, the, there's no Roland today because he's on holidays. Community, Mozilla Support Tour. I think, Centurion, you want to talk about that? Uh, yeah, uh, we started our uh, support tour on last Friday. It was the first city called, uh, it was a city called Silet in Bangladesh. Uh, we organized two events in two universities. Uh, you can see some of those photos in a blog. More photos are coming. And then uh, we, are, we were amazed to see the participation uh, and their enthusiasm. Uh, about 26 participants are interested to contribute in sumo of that event. So we are planning to mentor them within, and the mentoring will be started within one or two weeks. And on the 16th October, we are trying to organize a KB day in our local community. That's all from, the, from us. Awesome. Well, that's great. I was just looking at the pictures. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You have quite a lot of pictures are coming. There. <laughs> more pictures, we want more pictures. Um, and it seems like we have quite a few people interested. I was looking at the, the list. Um, so it's like already, I don't know, 27. Nice. That's, that's amazing. So yeah, kudos for the efforts, uh, Centurion and Top One and the rest of the Bangladesh team. It's awesome work. Uh, and I see there is one more entry. I'm not sure who wrote that. Yeah, it is from me also uh, for okay. the uh, offline KB day in mm -hmm. Bangladesh. It will be the first time for us, so we don't know what will happen. <laughs> Hoping We're for the going best. to organize it on the 16th of October. That's this Thursday, I think. Awesome. 
Well, fingers crossed, let us know how it works. I'm yes. sure it will be absolutely fine uh, because you guys have been doing amazing stuff in Bangladesh, so don't worry, everything will be okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, great news from the Bangladesh community. I hope to hear more news from other communities as well. Um, this is very interesting to hear uh, what people are doing in their local uh, community and uh, all the progress that is there. So thank you once again. And I'll move quickly to knowledge base. Jody, you're next again. Yeah, so um, we still got a bit to go, but we are wrapping up version 42 articles this week. And then if you're a localizer, you can expect to see them in your dashboard, um, hopefully by Friday. Also, just a heads up, um, somebody from WebMaker contacted us about changing some strings on the topic page for WebMaker. Um, so I talked to Mihao, and we're going to upload those strings to verbatim tomorrow. So. Yeah, keep an eye out for that as well. And that's it for the knowledge base. Cool. Thank you. Any questions about the community event or knowledge base or anything like that? No. OK, I'll move on. Um, Michal is not uh, here today, so I'll just jump to the support forum. So we had uh, another sumo day last week. Uh, where we did great. Um, we had 91% answer rate across the board, which is very unusual, um, and especially 94% answer rate on Firefox. So that was amazing. Again, thank you everybody who participated. This was a great effort from everybody, and we're actually doing a lot better in answering questions. We're back to over 90% for Firefox on a monthly basis, which is great. Um, so yeah, let's keep up the good work. We have a few new people joining us, so hopefully we can uh, go back to 90, 90, 98% um, like back in the day when we didn't have 3,000 questions per, per month. Um, because we do have like a lot, a lot more questions than we just do. So yeah, thank you, thank you once again so much, everybody for participating on Sumo Day. We'll have another one in two weeks as usual. So I hope to see everybody once again. And I think that's it for today. Any questions? Any last comments or concerns? I am gonna to check IRC really quickly. All right, I see no comments there. Um, so I guess that's it. Don't forget about our blog and Twitter. Uh, don't forget to comment in the community forums if you have anything you'd like to open up for discussions. Don't forget that we're always on IRC and around on email, so do feel free to PM us. Uh, and otherwise, see you online and have a great week, everybody. And thanks for this meeting. Bye.